Hey everyone, we're going to talk today about graphing and we're going to focus on points that fall and don't fall on lines that are given to us, whether they're equations, inequalities, linear, quadratic, all types. Because um, one of the biggest skills you need is creating equations on the regions. But generally with those questions, after you answer them, and write the equation. They want you to use the equation, substitute values in, um, and put them in the correct spots or whatever the variables represent. So the big thing with this is that we're trying to see if these equations or inequalities are true, which means that the coordinate has to lie on the line. So if we had the line and we checked the table or we substituted in, it's going to fit. Now, in inequality, there are more values than what's on the line because of the whole less than or greater than thing. So, let's go ahead and look at an example. And exercise 1, they just give us a basic linear equation, y equals 4x plus 2. And it says, does the point 210 lie on the graph? And they want us to justify it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the x and the y values. 2 and 10, and we're going to write our equation down, and what we're going to do is we're going to show our work by substituting those numbers in. So we end up getting 10 equals 4, parentheses 2, plus 2. And then you take the calculator out. You may not need the calculator for this. You might know that the answer is correct already. So I type in the expression on the right hand side, 4, parentheses 2 plus 2 and I get 10. So in this case 10 is 10 which in this case means that the answer is yes. So I have yes and I have my justification. So then what will happen with part B? Same thing we have a x and y value so in this case same equation we're using And for the first one, put in 4 for the y. Then we have 4 times negative 1 plus 2. So again, it says justify. So I'm showing my work. Now for part b, put in the right expression. 4 parentheses negative 1 plus 2. And I get negative 2. So for this case, 4 does not equal negative 2, which means that's a no. It does not lie on the graph. So that's pretty much the gist with what we're going to have to focus on with this. But again, substitution is an extremely important part of being successful in the regions. Now, if you look at 2, they give us a quadratic equation, which we talk a lot about in unit 3, and they want us to know if 320 lies on the graph. And again, it says justify, so they want us to show how we got it. So we got x and we got y. Now the one part about this, and I'm not going to go and type all this in the calculator for this one, but when I, when I substitute this, because there are two x's, i got to put 3 in two spots. So, I got all that. That's what I would type in the calculator. And this one does end up working um, because we end up getting 20 equals 20. So, the other one I really want to focus on, we're going to focus on a inequality. So, exercise 3. Now, the big thing is keeping sure or making sure that you uh, know what the symbols are. So for A we have a greater than symbol. So in this case again I have an x and y value so I'm going to put in 1 where the y is and I got 2 times 4 minus 5. And again you type the right hand side in the calculator. Um, this one you get 1 is greater than 3 which in this case is a false. You put false or no, either one. So that one does not 
lie on the graph. Uh, for B, same thing, X and Y, and you get 2 plus 8 is less than or equal to 10. So this is 10 is less than or equal to 10, which just would be a yes or true. Either one you want to write is fine. So that's kind of the big thing with the inequalities, is making sure you have the symbols correct. And again, if you're in my classroom right now, you can look in the review board for those inequality signs. In the last part of this assignment, they talk a little bit about systems, which we do in Unit 4. Um, so the only real difference with this is that they're going to give you a point. They want to know if the point is the solution to the systems. Okay? And in this case, that means that it's got to work in both. So you would have to take 3, 1, take the x and y values, substitute it into both of the equations. So for the first one, it's 2x minus 5. And again, you do 1 equals 2 times 3 minus 5. And then for the second one, same thing. We got y equals 4x, excuse me, negative 4x plus 13. And same thing, you got 1 equals negative 4 times 3 plus 13. So you can put those right-hand expressions in. And again, it has to work for both, whether it's inequalities or equations, if it's a system. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions on this, and good luck.